Okay, we're back again. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try a running jump. Go! Damn it, so close. Maybe next time. How else do I get across though? I don't do a running jump. Yeah, you understand, what do you think? Oh, heaven's sakes. Oh! What the? Yeah, we got up here. Didn't, didn't think of that. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh my word. Dan, fuck off. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Such a nice friend. No. <laughs> yes, this seems like a better place to get in from. Yeah. You get away in the It's such a small place. Am I not hitting him? There we go. Got him. Well done, Samantha. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, nothing up there. Got a clearing up ahead. I got your six. Who knows where more of the bastards will pop up? Hmm. Meeting room. Great. I got to have more holding space somewhere. Feel it in my gut. Stop. <laughs> All right, shut up. <laughs> Dr. Roger's personal terminal. Who's Dr. Roger? The last question. What? This me this makes no sense to me. baby. What? I'm so confused. Okay, that does make sense, that last bit. But the way they worded it, it means nothing to me. Montgomery. Who is Montgomery? It's one of the people at the place, wasn't it? Oh, Montgomery's the doctor. Oh, okay. I don't like the use of the word scabbers. That seems like a derogatory term, and I'm pretty sure it also applies to me. These people were here. Oh, we're here. Splendid. I'll just extend this bridge. Thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. Uh. <gasps> oh, where the hell did you come from? Die, 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 die. You bastard! <laughs> I am going to. G I, I got my revenge, I got my revenge. I got my revenge on the hunting son of a shitty dick nipple wanker. I hate him. Then he's dead. 
the decay. To hell with him. I lost him. There's two up here. None there. Okay, that's that thing I took out earlier. And go, 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 go! Missions must be protected. Ah! Die! You sons of nipple guns. No, targeting the wrong one. Die! <laughs> you did. Pardon <laughs> me. Yeah, you did. Ha ha ha! Oops, sorry, I was breathing. <laughs> Is that all my blood? Probably. Oh, it's getting remarkably laggy now, all of a sudden. Who are you? Ah, Dr. Okay. Chambers. And here you are. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? <gasps> if you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. I don't know. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? After testing, we have well over a 70% confidence level of our initial diagnosis. I'd have to perform an autopsy to be sure. So they killed loads of people just to get it a synth. I'll give you a fair hearing. That's How questionable. Considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? I've hmm. been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden Siths. To root them out so they can be extinguished. Mm. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Well... I'm not sure about you that. You can't seriously want to kill all the Siths. We most certainly do. But we have to find them first. A living Synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out, psychology can detect a difference. Enter the SAFE test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. Yeah. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the SAFE test, Intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. I think it's a bit more than Covenant distasteful. is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> you side with this nut job, She's such a and bitch. we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Excuse me? You threatening me? Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Very rude of you, Dan. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Cunt. You're going to die. Covenant's a refuge? Over the years, we've recruited like-minded individuals. 
all of our lives shattered by the Institute. Covenant is primarily about administering and refining the safe test. But some consider the humanitarian side equally as important. If you destroy what's left here, their lives will be upended again. Oh, I don't know. I'll go and Google it. I can't do this. <laughs> Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear it, then skip forward like 15 Continue. seconds or so. It's only minor, but s Mom, still. You this and the daughter is a synth. If you I kill her you and search her body, that. then she has a synth component on her. Spoiler over. <laughs> no more spoilers. Honest oh, Stan. Stupid name anyway. Yeah, you go, Codsworth. You burn him to death. What? What are you doing? I'm killing you. Autopsy will confirm my hypothesis. No! If only so Thank much you. technology like this was involved. Okay, so God's worth that's all you can think of for technology. <laughs> You'll find Covenant has a lot more access when you come to get on this What? <laughs> Where did her body go? It like disappeared. <laughs> Dr. Chambers. We were under the mistaken impression you wanted to rescue the Stockton girl. Boyd. Ooh, who's Boyd? Okay, I think I'll end the episode here.